in that past year, what, what have you learned? I've learned so much. Uh, the last two years fishing the, the, the FLW Tour, now the FLW Pro Circuit, mm -hmm. um, have had a lot of great finishes. Right now we're sitting in fourth in points, only two tournaments in, so it's it's a little bit too early, but that's had wrong. some that's good tw finishes. That's 20%. And, oh yeah, and, but <laughs> electronics have been a big key to, to mm -hmm. all of my good finishes um, throughout the last two years. And, uh, and you know, I was, as you said, I'm very fortunate to be able to, to combine all the really good quality of all the different brands uh, on my boat. You know, mm -hmm. I run a Nitro and it's got it's got all three brands, you know, major brands. You got Humminbird, Lowrance, Garmin. And so I get to pick and choose from all the different qualities that they have, which is great. I work with this company called BassBoatElectronics.com and they just they just set me up with the best system possible. And uh, one of the things that, that I've really been impressed with the last couple of years, and we kind of touched up on on the, on the Classic, but I was still pretty new to it, was the forward-looking sonar, you know, that Panoptics Live Scope technology mm -hmm. um, that, that a lot of brands are starting to embrace. Uh, is it's just really special. It's just so critical out there on the water, and and I've learned so much about fish movements and and how they react to different baits. At the Cup last year, for instance, uh, I was using the the Panoptics Live Scope, uh, the forward-looking sonar to find these brush piles that I had found during practice. You know, mm -hmm. using my my mega imaging and and uh, and inside imaging technology to find those. But I'd go back with the the forward-looking sonar. And I'd be able to, number one, find exactly what cast I need to make to get to that, that brush pile. But in practice, I was using it to figure out how the fish were reacting to certain baits. So I'd throw a crankbait in there. I'd watch the crankbait go down to the brush pile. And then I'd see the fish either come out and attack it, come out and just kind of lose interest, or not come out of the brush pile at all. And then I was able to, to just keep on doing that and trying different baits to figure out what they would end up wanting wanting to eat or the retrieve speed. I ended up finding a, a pattern throwing a, a big heavy chatter bait that was really great um, because it, it really got a reaction strike out of those fish. They just, all of a sudden, they just flood out of that, that brush to hit that bait. Oh and gosh. without that technology, I wouldn't be able to see the reaction of those fish in that brush. So it, it, it that right there, and just being able to use that that forward-looking technology in, in in coordination with all the other technology that I have on the boat, the 2D sonar, the side imaging, uh, and uh, and and utilizing that and down imaging as well, being able to combine all those has really enhanced my fishing. It's Mike Iaconelli. This is Bash U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bash U TV. You get the top instructors. You will learn things at Bash U that you will learn nowhere else. We take the mystery and the myths out of bass fishing. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. At Bass U TV, shoes are optional. And I like turtles. And that's why you want to check out Bass U TV. Join the Bass U family. Welcome to Bass U TV.